pretty good out there. Is this the, the best team effort you think of the season? Yeah, I would think I would think so. Um, I mean, we just we went hard in practice all week and uh, going two days, three days. We're just in a great frame of mind that we had to come out and perform. Alex, as a guy who's been sort of up and down yourself and seeing what Scal has been through, um, to have him kind of have some moments tonight, you hear the cheers from the crowd again, were you, were you happy as a teammate for him? Yeah, we was all happy for him. It was just great, you know. He's uh, he's working real hard, working his butt off, working his tail off in practice, you know, and just trying to get out this little funks he in. So, like, when he makes a good play, you know, we're there cheering him on. The crowd did a great job cheering him on. No, it just shows that we're all there for him. Did he look different to you? I mean, when he had a little success, was he, did he look a little looser, a little yeah, happier? Than yeah, that? he seemed a little more aggressive in the beginning of the game, which is something that we liked. So, uh, I mean, if he keeps on playing like that, you know, keeps on making baby stuff, you know, we go – it's going to help him help our team. It, it's, you know, it's one, you talk about baby steps, it's one little thing, one play, but he ripped a rebound away from a couple other guys tonight. We haven't seen him do that in a while. Is that something? Yeah, I know. It's just showing a little fight, a little aggression, though. It's something we need from him. Cal said prior to this game that he thought every game in the SEC that y'all play would be within about eight points. Mm -hmm. Did y'all ever hear that from him? Yeah, we heard it a lot, you know, because once you get in conference play, I mean, everybody is counting your games. Everybody knows your plays, knows what you're going to do, know your tendencies. You know, the game's going to be a little bit tighter. You know, but, I mean, Ole Miss did, had a good game plan, you know, but we had a good game, game plan, too, just coming in and just sticking to it. Is that something you took to heart a little bit? That you wanted to, you know, prove him wrong that you are a team? That yeah, can... a little bit, you know, uh, um, you want to win the game, but you want to like make statements, stuff like mm -hmm. that. So uh, yeah, we took a little bit. Sort of on a more personal level, Cal said that Tyler it was pretty clear that he wanted to challenge. Everybody was talking about Moody, and that Tyler wanted to check him and to yeah, play yeah, him a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, Tyler wanted to guard him. Uh, we worked, we worked uh, a couple of days of what he does, how he comes off ball screens. Tyler was like, I got him. Uh, we did a good job of helping the icing, helping off the pick and roll and stuff like that. But Tyler was guarding him in him and uh, doing a great job. I feel like we find a different way to ask you this just about every game about how good he is and how important he is to you guys. But I uh, guess give us a new one. I mean, he makes us go. <laughs> so I don't know. I didn't know much of what we can say about it. When, when you, when, like, the scout made a good play today, I saw you kind of go with him, give him a playful shove. What are you saying to a guy like that when you do something? Like I mean, it's just a it show. It's like, all right, good job. Do it again. You know, we're with you. It's just, it just keep on doing it. Just give him some recognition for doing it. How much have you sort of been in his ear over during this rough stretch for him? Um, a lot, you know, because he needs he need somebody, you know, especially, you know, he comes from Haiti, he's in a different country. You know, you're all by yourself, and then you start struggling. So, and you need somebody picking up with me, Marcus. A lot of the teammates been helping him pick him up, make sure his, uh, his head's in the right, right frame of mind. How much was tonight a product of y'all's work in Camp Cal? I mean, a lot, you know, this whole week. No off days, you know, on twice, three three times a day, just practicing. So, you know, we've just been doing all straight basketball. So, I mean, it helps, you know, it shows. I mean, we play good. So, I mean, we'll practice again tomorrow, <laughs> practice Sunday, or tomorrow is Sunday, and then practice Monday and get ready for Tuesday. Knowing the back and forth that Cal and Jamal have been having about what's a good shot and, and <laughs> all those things, when you see him uh, not able to help himself and throw up one of those crazy ones, or do you do, do you laugh knowing what Cal's going to say? I mean, yeah, he laughs because he just looked at him like he really shot that. But, <laughs> I mean, he just kind of expected, you know. But he, it's cut, it's, he's cutting them down, you know. He's starting to play, make easy plays, stuff like that. So, I mean, he's, in, he's into the team aspect, what we're trying to do here. Have all you guys sort of taken scale underneath your wing because he's not from here, because he, he hasn't played basketball like you did growing up. It hasn't been easy for him. Are you like a proud big brother when you see him take a step tonight? I mean, yeah. I mean, we're all helping him and uh, encouraging him and cheering him on and making sure that uh, he knows that somebody's there for him. You know, when the coach is yelling at him, they, I mean, they're not yelling at him, just yelling at him. They're just trying to um, improve him and uh, just coach him. You know, we're there. It's like it's hard. Just listen to the message and just, just deal with it, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry, sometimes it's tough for people to understand if you're from Haiti and you have a coach who's yelling and screaming, it's not an easy transition. You know, I have no idea. I'm not from Haiti, so I mean, I wouldn't know. But, you know, it's just, uh, you know, he's, it, it, I mean, it's new to him. You know, uh, I mean, playing college ball, he's still a freshman, which people forget. You know, he's still learning things. See, you, you all seem to get a charge out a little when you got that first goal. Just talk about the energy it brought to you to see him doing so well. Uh, it was great. You know, it jump started our defense and uh, it just picked up energy from the start of the game. Or not the start of the game when he got in. You've seen a lot of good performances 20 points, 10 assists, 6 steals. Both the assisted steals were career highs for Tyler. I mean, Tyler was ridiculous. Yeah, no, he was, he, he was, he was incredible out there. You know, that's what we need from him. Uh, he's one of the leaders on our team. You know, it all starts with him. He's the point guard. He's got the ball in his hand. He, uh, 
he's the first option on defense, you know, so, I mean, we go as he goes. Andy Kennedy said he wants to be invited to Camp Cal next year. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. <laughs> Trust me. Is it that rough? I mean, it's pretty, I mean, y'all don't know, but, I mean, it's pretty rough. But, no, it's not rough. I mean, it's basketball, so it can't be too rough. I mean, we're used to it, but, I mean, it's a lot of basketball. So what's the one thing, if there is such a thing as one thing that you guys gained from, because I thought you guys were hustling all over the court tonight. I mean, we get in shape, so I guess, you know, in conditioning, we're practicing three times a day, so. Jamal said it was Thanks. fun. Oh. You don't sound like it's fun. No, no, it was fun this year. I mean, I've had worse camp cows, so. <laughs> no, nah, but it, I mean, it's cool. You know, I mean, we're again, we're just playing basketball, practicing, getting better, so, I mean, it is fun. What's some of the things that you saw from your, from your teammates today that translated from camp cow over to tonight's game? The energy from the start of the game, the defending, um, paying attention to uh, plays and schemes, what we're trying to do. Everybody's more attentive. So, I mean, little things like that uh, carried over from practice. Defensively, especially in that first half, I mean, that was as good as I think you guys have looked all season. Did it feel that way to you? I, I mean, it felt good. I mean, we, we really locked down and tried to guard and play defense, you know, and just, I mean, it worked out. Alex, how much uh, Coach was saying that uh, Tyler was sort of in a uh, wanting to show that he was better than Moody. I mean, Tyler, Tyler won the garden from the start. You know, we uh, we was like, all right, we'll help you guard him. But I mean, he did a great job guarding him. Uh, sold him down the first half. I think the second half he got going a little bit. But I mean, he played really good defense on him. What do you think it is about Tyler that uh, he responds to that? Don't you think that, uh, that, that challenge? Yeah, I would think so. I mean, we got a lot of people on the team that responds to challenges and steps up when your name is called. You know, it's just it's part of being a basketball player here in Kentucky. You know, we got a lot of challenges each and every day. You just got to overcome. Them. So focused on Jamal making an easy play out there. Is it harder for a guy like him when he can do the things that we've seen him do at times to, to focus on that? Um, I mean, I, it's kind of hard. You know, in high school, you, you can do whatever you want, and here you think you can, but you can't. You know, so but I mean, he's 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 learning how to not make easy plays and how to lower the numbers on all them fancy and up and unders and all he does. You know, but I mean, he's getting better at it. He's learning how. To, He's learning. Seems like he makes enough of those to think he should continue doing. Yeah, it. he makes enough, and then he misses a lot, you know. But I mean, he, <laughs> he does a great job in making plays and playing out there. So, Coach Kennedy just told us he said, "Man, I, I want to be invited to Camp Cal next year. What, what's the deal with? I mean, you think he really wants a piece of that? No, he doesn't. <laughs> I mean, but I mean, everybody thinks it's all it's all glamour and glitter on the outside, but." <laughs> You said it was easier this year than previous camp cows. Is that just because you had more experience, or is anything actually easier about it? I mean, it's, it's just I'm used to it, and I know what to expect. You know, sometimes I didn't know what to expect, but this year I knew, all right, we're going to practice three times. All right, well, let me get some sleep. I'm going to get some rest. Let me eat, make sure I'm up for it. So, Is there a positive <laughs> aspect that you can see, like just the bonding or what yeah, you like? Yeah, you bond, and then you get in shape. I mean, you're doing all this running, so the running doesn't affect you as much no more. And then, I mean, we're hanging out with our teammates 24 hours of the day. So, I mean, yeah, the bonding comes. Has anybody uh, mentioned what Cal said about you after the game? Has anybody brought that up yet? No, what do you say? He said, well, you know, Alex, again, he was showing signs of being an elite All-American that we all know he can be. And then, you know, I wanted him to really take another step in this game. And foul trouble's there and stuff. And I just, you know, I got to go back in the locker room and tell him again. Uh, hey, Alex. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it's the same thing. I mean, you, you know. No surprise there for you. You I know mean, how he is. Yeah, I mean, it's rough when you get in foul show, you know, but you just got to play through it. You know, I think I did, I did a great job of doing that. You know, even though I picked up fouls in the first half and two quick fouls in the second half, you know, you just got to keep on playing and don't let it bother you. I mean, he's going to scream and yell, but you just got to learn to get through it. Did you happen to see the video of Cal yeah, on the hoverboard? Yeah, 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 I seen what it. was your opinion? On that? I would, I would probably not advise him not to get on one of those again before he uh, breaks his neck. Did he threaten you all if you all got on one or not? No, he ain't threatened us or anything. He just said uh, it's not for old people. Has anybody been on one on the team? I mean, I, I mean, I think almost everyone on the team knows how to ride one. We're a lot more coordinated than he is. <laughs> it's a different world. You guys can get on it. If I get on it, full right away. Yeah, I mean, one. it's just a balance thing. I know it's not. I mean, people think it's hard, but it's not hard at all. So on a scale of one. To 10, how hard did y'all laugh when you saw the video of Cal? 10, I'm gonna say it was pretty funny. It was two of them, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It was pretty funny. actually, I thought you were gonna say 20. No, were you afraid Brad was gonna go down with him? Like, I think he was holding him up. Nah, Brad, Brad, Brad rides all the time, so I don't think Brad, Brad's a pro at it. Yeah, Brad's a pro, but but uh, dad might have taken Brad down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he might have. I don't know how, how heavy Cal is, so he might have took him down. He's like him. me, he's heavy enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
you know, potential is a funny thing because you guys were 38 and 0 last year. It, it's a it's a level that people say can't be done. I'm looking at this team, and I'm not smart enough to know how good you guys can be, but I can see you guys getting tons better. I mean, there were some flashes tonight, and each guy is going to have the light bulb turn on a lot more between now and then. Without the depth, can you be as good as last year? Or is that a stupid way to think? I mean, last year we was an incredible team. You know, it's, it's just you know we don't want to get compared to last year. You know, we're a different team. Last year we had an incredible run, historic run, really. But you know, this year we're trying to take it one game at a time. You know, uh, um, we were trying to win every game. You know, but that doesn't happen. It's unfortunate. You know, we just move on to the next game and just try to build from it. But in a different way, can this team be just as special in a different way? I mean, way? we can meet the same goals that the team met last year. Uh, we can still get to our final goal of trying to win the national championship. You know, so yeah, in that sense, yes. Do you get a feeling that people in the public, or you probably don't pay attention, doesn't think you guys can be as good because last year was so special? Uh, I, I really don't. I mean, you really don't. Uh, we're listening to what other people think in the public and everything like that. So, you know, we're just trying to, we got a little tight circle here, and we're just trying to keep it to ourselves. Any advice for Cal next time he tries to get on one of those things? Don't get on one. <laughs> Thanks. No problem.